Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 2.4, first question. This is fraction decimal of class 7. The question is find and we have 7 questions uh, regarding the multiplication. First one is 0 0.2 multiplied by 6. Now whenever you're solving a multiplication problem with a decimal, so there are many ways of solving. The easiest way is this. So we have 0 0.2 multiplied by 6. So what you're going to do here is just multiply the numbers. Just don't uh, think about the decimal point just multiply the numbers so it's like 2 into 6 okay 2 6 is 12 right now we're going to find out about the decimal if you see here after decimal point we have one digit yes after this decimal we have only one digit so in the final answer you have to put a decimal point after one digit from the right side that is i have to check from this side to this side that is after 2 i'm going to put the decimal so it will be like it will be here it's a 1.2 so whenever you're placing a decimal you have to come from the right side after that many digits so let me explain the second one you will get to know so second question it's 8 into 4.6 so here just multiply 8 and 46 okay 8 into 46 you multiply we're going to put decimal later so 8 into 46 is 368 when you multiply 8 and 46 we'll get 368 so 368 again so if you see here we have decimal point here after decimal we have only one digit so in this 368 from the right side from the right side that is from 8 i have to start after one digit i'm going to put decimal so it will be 36.8 then the next one that's the third problem we have 2.71 multiplied by 5 so again you multiply 271 and 5 which will be equal to 1355. Now we are going to think about the decimal. So it will be equal to 1355. Now if you observe here after decimal point we have a two digits. Yes. So from the right side from this side after two digit I have to place decimal. That is after 5 and 5 after this two digit I have to put decimal here. So it will be 13.55 I hope it is clear then the next one it's like a normal multiplication only thing is you have to take care about the decimal point the next we have a 201 sorry 20.1 multiplied by 4 so when you multiply this two number that is 201 when you multiply with 4 it will be 804 so 804 I'll write down now I'm gonna put the decimal if you see after decimal I have only one digit so from the right side from here after one digit that is after four I have to put so it will be 80.4 then the next one 0 0.05 multiplied by 7 so you have to just multiply 5 and 7 5 7 is 35 now here this is a little bit different question after decimal point we have a two digits right so from the right side i have to put this dec decimal point after two digit that is after five three i have to put decimal but there's a no number after that so we're going to take a zero here we're going to put a zero here it will be 0 0.35 now remember after decimal you have to pronounce the number separately you have to say separately it is 0 0.35 it is not 0 0.35 you should after decimal you have to uh, pronounce or the say the number separately right before that you have to say in the normal numeric form and then the next one sixth question we have 211.02 multiplied by 4 now we have to first going to multiply this 211 sorry 21102 multiplied by 4 when you do it it will be 84408 Okay, this will be the number now we have to put the decimal after decimal we have a two digit from the right side from this side we have to put decimal after two digit that is eight and zero after that you put decimal it is 844.08 then the fifth one so this is sixth one so this is seventh one so this is the last question so two into 0 0.86 so when you multiply 2 and 86, 2 into 86 when you do, it is 172. Let's write down 172. Now after decimal, if you see there are two digits, right? So from the right side, after two digits, I have to put decimal. So it is 2 and 7, you put decimal point. So 1.72 will be the answer. 
So I hope it's clear how to multiply the numbers. Now in case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.